Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walked you through a very very interesting concept related to system Verilog version of Yogi. And uh, on the other hand, it is very frequently asked interview question. And the concept is UVM callback. So I just walk you through with this concept. First, we'll try to see a bit theory and then we'll try to put that theory into practice so that you will remember the concept to follow. So let me show you what this callback uh, is all about. It. So the callback, if you see the literature, we'll find many definitions. And the simplest one what I found is uh, the UVM callback is the mechanism by which we can get the additional behavior from the transactors by just customizing the empty methods. Okay. So what are the transactors? The you know, transactors are the classes. Those are dealing with the transactions. Okay. Generally, we will refer them as a transactors. So here, uh, if we are using the callback method, uh, we are not really modifying the source code of the component or the object in which we are using the callback. We are just customizing the empty method which we are defining the call, call, call back. So let me show you the code. Then only you uh, can give you the response. So for this, I am taking the same example of a combinational adder verification, which we already had a discussion in the last video. So uh, I will put a link of that video in the description so that you can go through that video once and then only you can proceed on this video so that you will find this concept easy to understand because we are not going to discuss all the things all the test bench architecture again so i already i because already i took that video so you can go through that video and you can then proceed for this video. so i just explained you the you know uh, callback what is callback it is a mechanism by which we can get the additional behavior from the transactors by just customize, customizing the empty methods. So how that uh, we are using here inside uh, this combinational header verification environment. So let me give you the you know, very high level overview for that. What we want, uh, we want to make use this callback inside a monitor class. So as you know, the responsibility of monitor is to capture the information uh, you know, through the DUT with the help of virtual interface. And then it can broadcast this to multiple components like uh, a scoreboard for, uh, you know, uh, for, for uh, you know, doing the comparison with the golden data. And we can also broadcast uh, from the monitor to the, you know, coverage collector. Generally, we are referring it as a UVM subscriber for calculating the functional curvature. So monitor has the analysis board, hence it can broadcast this data to multiple components. By this additional behavior, accept, ex, expecting the, I know, accepting this uh, additional behavior, behavior, what we want that our monitor should just print to, you know, info messages. And which are, what are those info messages? Let me show you that once. So as you can see, what we want, the monitor before capturing the information through the DUT, we want our monitor should print this message, present define inside a monitor callback one. And after you know capturing the information and putting that information inside the analysis port of a monitor, we want it should print this message, post send define inside a monitor callback. Okay. So just for our understanding, I'm taking this example. We are just printing a messages. We are not doing anything much. Let me just walk you through the concept of callback. How to define a callback class. So the callback class is a object class in the UVM based class era. So we have to register with it. UVM, take UVM object details. So our own callback class, uh, you know, we can use any name. Monitor callback I'm using here, which is extending from UVM callback. And as it is object class, as I told you, we have to register with a tick UVM object details factory station. And it's default constructor expecting only one argument. Now here, 
inside this callback class, we have to define two empty methods called pre-send and post-send. You can use any name. Okay, I'm using pre-send and post-send. And these uh, two methods should be empty and should be defined as a virtual so that in future, if we want to you know, override this, uh, we can override from the child class. Okay. End class monitor callback. So in the callback class, just we define two empty methods. Remember this. Now the extended callback class, okay, class monitor class, uh, monitor callback one, which is extending from this monitor callback. So it is a child one, right? This callback one is a child for this monitor callback. We have to register with the take your vim object it, it tells factory session micro and its default constructor expecting also one hour to make now here we are uh, you know overriding these uh, two empty methods pre send and post send right you can see we are defining virtual task pre send and here we are defining the message take your vm info get time name will give the current class name for us and here we are writing the message like pre send define inside a monitor callback and for the post sends a post send method also same message post send define inside a monitor callback one so this is what the additional behavior just these two info messages we want our monitor should uh, you know print uh, before capturing the information through dut and after capturing the information through the dut so let me show you the monitor class i am not going to explain the driver because it is you know, same we are not doing anything over here you can uh, have a look of that video, which already I have uh, taken. Now the monitor class inside the monitor, which is extending from UVM monitor, we are defining the transaction class object and it has the analysis port. We have to define that. And as it is a component class in the UVM base class hierarchy, we have to register with the tick UVM component details factory registration method. And along with, we have to use tick UVM register CB. It is nothing but the tick UVM register callback. And within parenthesis, we have to provide the name for this monitor and the monitor callback class name in which we define two empty methods. So, and uh, in the build phase, we, we, we usually you know, creating the transaction object and getting the virtual interface. Now inside the run phase, while calling the forever begin, uh, you know, here we have to, uh, you know, what we want, it should, you know, print those messages. So for that, we have to, uh, you know, add this callback hooks here inside a monitor class. So what is the syntax for that? Tick UVM do callbacks within parenthesis, the monitor class name, and then the monitor callback in which we define the pre-send and post-send empty methods and comma pre-send. Similarly, after, you know, capturing the information, through the DUT uh, via this uh, virtual interface. We are just printing a message saying data to score boot and using a print method to get the, you know, whatever we are sending that printed. That's why we are using inbuilt print method. And after putting this, uh, you know, capture data inside this monitor analysis port, we want uh, that our monitor do the additional functionality that is, it will call that uh, you know, info message which we define inside the extended class, right? As you remember, inside the extended class as we defined, right? Post send defined inside a monitor callback. It should call after capturing the information. Hence, we have to use the callback hooks, tick UVM do callbacks within parenthesis, the monitor class name and the callback class name and comma post send. So with this callback hooks, actually, we are linking our monitor with the callback class very soon. Now inside the top level class, which is the test class for us, as you can see, the test one in which we are, you know, in the run phase, generally we are calling the sequence, we are calling the start method and in which we are starting the sequence onto the sequencer, which is there in the agent of the environment, right? In the raised objection and drop objection. <coughs> Here <coughs> inside the build phase, uh, what we are doing first we are defining uh, inside the this you know test one class we are defining the instances for the monitor class and the callback extended callback class 
Okay, so CB is a uh, instance for the extended callback class. And in the build phase of this class itself, we are allocating a memory uh, or creating the object using factories create method for this monitor instance and the extended callback class instance. Okay. And here we are using the add method to add this uh, callback class, you no know, extended callback class inside this monitor. How to, how to do that? UVM underscore callback hash within parenthesis the monitor class name comma the call monitor callback class in which we define two empty methods colon colon add and within parenthesis the instance for the monitor class and the comma instance for the extended callback class with this we are adding this callback you know class to this monitor and just in the run phase as in the raise objection drop Objection: We are starting the sequence onto the sequencer, which is there in the agent of the environment. Very simple. And in the top, just we are, you know, uh, instantiation or uh, doing the instantiation of our DUT and just calling the run test method. Okay, very simple. So if you run this code, uh, you will find uh, that two messages. Okay. So what we want: our monitor uh, capture the information through DUT and broadcast it to multiple components it's like uh, you know scoreboard and the coverage collector and <clears throat> additional behavior we want it should print the info messages which we define inside this uh, inside the callback right callback class and the extended callback class it should do it should print those messages so if you run this code uh, you'll find uh, those two messages inside the uh, driver class uh, sorry inside a monitor so, let me show you the result. After running this code, you can take any monitor uh, class. Okay, so as you can see over here, uh, this is the monitor, right? This information is from monitor. Let me uh, show you the monitor class also so that you will have the clear understanding. So if you just go to the monitor class. This is what they were uh, monitor class. Okay, So here what we are doing uh, before capturing the information uh, we are calling the present right so it should print that present info which we defined inside a callback one right so that info is present defined inside a monitor callback one and after capturing this information uh, we are printing this uh, info send data to score After capturing that, uh, you know, collecting that uh, captured data into this analysis port of a monitor. After that, we are calling the post send method. So as you can see, after uh, you know print method, after this print method, it is calling uh, that post send. It is printing that display post send defined inside the callback. So this is what the additional behavior actually. We are not really modifying the uh, source code of this, uh, you know monitor but just we are using this uh, you know, callback hooks so this callback hooks actually link the monitor with the callback class and we are defining the you know our logic inside those empty methods and we are overriding those methods so this is what you you can uh, run this code and you can observe that behavior so whenever there is a monitor uh, display something like this you can observe the result of this right so this is what the simple explanation for the uvm callback okay. so i will put the link of this code in the description you can go through this uh, code you and you can also play around with this code so that you will have the clear picture clear understanding okay. so with this i hope you understood the concept of uvm callback and also i hope you enjoyed this video okay so uh, you'll find many applications for this uh, you know callback uh, class okay. so what are the uh, you know applications for this callback you can inject the errors inside a dut through the uh, driver class you can uh, you know delay the transactions if you want you can get the you know uh, print is statements additional behavior from the transactors 
uh, without really modifying the source code so these are the sub applications what we call them okay so again once again thanks for watching this video thank you